Hi guys and welcome to today's tutorial. In today's lesson we're going to look at the chapter on world climates and we're going to focus on a hot climate. Okay, so we're going to focus in good, in good detail on the equatorial region and this is a hot climate. Okay, so quickly um, we're going to look at like equatorial region but first of all, uh, hot regions, hot climates are found between 0 and 30 degrees of latitude. So it's 0 and 30 degrees north and south of the equator and they spread out from the equator to the tropics, and they're made up of the equatorial region, the hot desert, the savanna, and the monsoon uh, climates. But the one we're going to focus on is the equatorial region. Okay, so for the equatorial region, we're going to look at these different uh, headings. So location, temperature, rainfall, soil, flora, fauna, and human activity. So the first one, location. Where will you find equatorial regions? Well, you'll find them eight degrees north and 8 degrees south of the equator of the equator an example of a country that you'll find them you'll find this climate is indonesia so indonesia is an example of a country that will experience this climate. Temperature. Okay, so what is the temperature? The average daily temperature is 27 to 28 degrees. So average temperature is 27 28 degrees Celsius. Okay, it's also worth to note that they are, every day is the same. There's not, they don't have any seasons. Every day is the same, and it's due to the due to the location. And another thing to also note to know is that the, the the length of the day and night are are equal because of their position um, on the globe. Rainfall, they have very high levels of humidity, okay? And because a lot of, a lot of the water, the moisture is evaporated away, they get a lot of convectional rainfall. So convectional rainfall. And they can experience thunderstorms for many days. And this is because of the high levels of evaporation that leads to the, con the convection rainfall. And they'll get over 2,000 millimetres of rain annually. The next one is a soil type. And they have uh, tropical red soils. So tropical red soils and as we know from studying soils tropical red soils are not very fertile which um results in intense uh, weathering of the of the of the of the soils and the rocks and when you get this very heavy convectional rainfall um and because of the amount of rainfall that they actually get they get a lot of leaching which leads to a lot of the nutrients from the soil being uh, being leached and washed down from the A horizon to the B horizon. And therefore it makes it really hard to grow vegetation. And this is a huge problem in equatorial regions. At equatorial regions, because of the amount of rainfall that they get, the flora is most of the vegetation is going to be rainforest. or jungle. So rainforests are, are dense with hard tree, word, uh, tree woods such as uh, mahogany and the canopy roof is formed by the tops of the trees and the trees block out lots of sunshine for the areas underneath um, the trees so, it, so the forest floor doesn't receive that much light. So the taller trees in the emergent layer stick up to 
uh, above the can- canopy because they want to try to get some sunshine. And the area between the canopy and the forest floor is the understory and they don't receive much light at all. The fauna, so the different animals and the species, these include like monkeys, snakes, parrots, and butterflies. And the last one we're going to look at is human activity. And one of the things that has become prominent in the last few years is deforestation of the rainforests, which is, huge, which is leading to many, many problems for humans and for the, the people, the traditional people that, that actually live within the, the rainforests, so the tribal people. Large areas of the rainforest are being, um, are being cleared because of deforestation to make room for cattle ranching, mining, roads, um, for logging, etc. And trees are burnt to clear these areas and cut down um, to sell on the timber. And what it actually means is a lot of the soil and the vegetation is getting damaged because it's just being burnt down. It's called, sometimes it's known as slash and burn. And this is causing many problems for boats. It's causing uh, problems for the natural climate. Uh, for the global, for global warming, for climate change, and for the for the tribal people that actually live within the within the rainforests. Okay, so that's it for today's tutorial. Uh, we looked at the hot climate uh, region, which was the equatorial uh, region, and you need to know um, a hot climate, a cold climate, and a temperate climate in great detail for your June certificate examination. But you need to be familiar with all climates, but you need to know one for each uh, type in great detail. So we looked at the equatorial climate there. I hope you found it useful. If you did, you can go onto our website and find more videos, examinervision.ie. You can subscribe to our YouTube channel, youtube.com forward slash examinervision. And you can follow us on Twitter and Instagram for all the latest news and updates. Thanks, guys.